wow. I called it. I kind of called it. I can't believe it happened. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do this. In today's video, I'm going to be opening a booster box of Obsidian Flames. This is the third expansion of the Scarlet and Violet era. So without Puffy. further further ado, let's get it. All right, guys, it's booster box time. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for the booster box because... I am pretty sure there's a high chance of me getting an SIR or a gold card. Whereas all of the products that I've opened up for this video, the Pokemon Center ETBs, the regular ETB, booster bundles and the sleeve boosters, you're not guaranteed. But booster box, you've, you've got a very high chance of pulling at least one of them. Possibly two. Yeah, here's the booster box. There's the top with Tyranitar. River Room. Dragonite and then at the front Charizard. And then at the back, Raging Flames. Raging Flames forged in darkness. Alright, let's crack this thing open. Yeah, so, so far my luck with um, Obsidian Flames has been quite good, to be honest. Quite good. I'm loving what I've pulled so far. I'm loving the pull rates. Um, let's put it down this way. There we go. And let's start from the left side. Alright. Yep, there we go. But before we get started, guys, if you enjoyed my videos and you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer Box as of me hitting 500 subscribers. So without further ado, we'll let's get it. Alright, guys, so let's just get straight into it. Booster box time, booster box time. Start from the left side as always. Oh, these ones are so easy to open. These ones are so easy to open. Um, yeah, booster box. I'm looking forward to it because... Oh, shit. That's I almost ruined that. Um, let me put this on this side. Yeah, let me put the booster box on that side. Boink. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteed, I'm guaranteed an SIR. Let's go! And a couple of full arts. Although this is a double, this is my third Glimora EX now. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I should be guaranteed an SIR. Possibly two, if not an SIR and a gold. But I, I'm sure I'm guaranteed an SIR. Sure, pretty sure. So, I'm wondering which it's going to be. I've already pulled, I think, two SIRs. I've pulled the Charizard and I've pulled the poppy so would be nice to pull i think there's a couple of others actually there's a pidgeotto there's a few of the others high five, high five. as much as i'd like to say i wouldn't mind pulling the charizard again but as a master setter i'd prefer to pull anything else i'm hoping the Gita to be honest i'm hoping if i do pull an sirs the Gita or the pidgeotto the pidgeotto is nice as well because i don't have it but would be nice to pull that i think i see gold I think I see gold, guys. If it was gold, it would have been... No, I said a back, right? Oh, no. Nope. Oh, dude. What the hell? I still can't get used to the... The hollow bin at the back and not getting duped. It always happens. You feel like you see a glow of gold or something. Or that kind of... S special texture. In the end, it's just a bloody thingy. Um, The hollow. Play the... Dynamo, I'm doing me X, nice, another one that I've pulled now, so I'm going to be seeing a lot of doubles. I think up until this booster box, I've opened up 78 packs. Yeah, 78, so I'm probably going to be calling, pulling quite a few doubles. And so far, of all the 78 packs that I've opened, not a single gold card. But I was kind of, I'm kind of expecting that, kind of expected that. Since all of the products that I've opened so far have like give you random kind of full rates. Whereas booster boxes obviously give obviously give you more or less a set full rate. So maybe I might pull one in this. Oh. Literally, I am literally getting deja vu from what I literally the video that you're gonna see before this one that I did um with the booster bundles and the thing. I pulled the three exact same cards right now, literally. I mean if that's the case and I'm pulling doubles from this booster box, oi. It can only mean that I'm either going to pull another Charizard or another Poppy. Obviously, I'll rather take the Charizard, but I might not. Let's see. But 
so far i've actually put in terms of the ultra rarities i've pulled a lot of the good ones already so i'm pretty much expecting to pull doubles at this point like of those i've pulled a lot of them already so i mean i haven't put in a gold card so any gold card at this point i'll take but two out of the six special illustration rares already so i have uh four and six chance of pulling something different but yeah another note on another note as well the the most recent reveal from the end of pokemon world championship oh i don't know if you've seen it it maybe you haven't watched my last video maybe this you've only seen this videos so far but i might throw up a little clip after this pack oh my days those carry that pokemon oof Yeah, November set is looking like it could be fire. It's looking like it could be fire. Um, it's gonna be called Paradox Rift. The Elite Trainer Box is gonna feature I am Valiant. I think the future version of God Devourer, something along those lines. But then we pop Bellabolt Thunderous. But yeah, they're gonna be introducing a new mechanic, which is the Ancient and the Future. And then, so it's going to be the Paradox Pokemon or the Ancient and Future Pokemon. I think Ancient was Scarlet and Future was Violet. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Scarlet is the Ancient Pokemon and Violet is the Future Pokemon. Oh, nice. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, the Chong I don't have in IO form. I believe I don't have it. Nice. Nice artwork as well. Again, like I said, all of the artworks. All of the illustration rares in Obsidian Flames. I love them all. As a master setter, once you start opening packs, like a, a higher quantity of packs, once you get into the range that I've got into, like it's the hundred ish range. After this video, it should be a hundred, like the hundred range. Going away with one card that you haven't pulled is a big relief. It's a big relief. But then when you make a whole video, or open a whole booster box, and all you pull is doubles, it's just disappointing. Like this video, I might only go away with that Lechonk as something I can add to the master set. I mean, granted, obviously, I don't think they're worth much. Those three cards that I've pulled so far, I don't think they're worth much at all. If you was to sell them off, they're more or less bulk. So there's that, but I guess there's that, but still, as a master set, I just want to pull cards that I haven't pulled before. Bronzo, Toxicity. So pulling that Lechonk. It gives me a little sigh of relief. Um, so that's four hits so far. Booster boxes you're usually looking at um, eleven to twelve, I'd say average. So we're looking at eight more hits possibly. We haven't seen our SIR yet. Amoongus, Entei. Now that they're starting to bring out Paradox Pokemon as well, I can't wait till they start bringing up the Rory Moon from this Paradox set um, and Iron Valiant. I like both those Pokemon, but Iron Thorns, oh, I can't wait for that one. Iron Thorns is going to be sick. Um, what else was there? I'm trying to think of what other power... I mean, the new ones that they've released as well in the game that I haven't really caught, or I haven't even played the game for a while. Um, there was the Ancient Suicune, I think, they recently released. And then, I think the Future Revert, Future Verizion. And then I think upcoming ones as well, boy. That sweet coon one. Oh, as much as I don't like what they did to sweet coon, I'm looking forward to it still because it's sweet coon. Entei one, I hope. Wait, have they done the Entei one? I know they recently revealed the Raikou. I don't know if they did Entei. Four more EX, one that I already have. I think they have revealed the Entei and the um what's that thing called? The Raikou. Definitely the Raikou and that looks ugly as fuck. That I don't know what what did they do to it? Oh. I, I might show up a, a proper image of it, but they completely ruined Entei. I mean Raikou. They completely uh, ruined them.
There's our SIR. Wow. I called it. I kind of called it. I can't believe it happened. This one is off center as fuck down at the bottom. I think it's actually off center more or less all the way. Sizzle. You know what? Oh no. It's the same thing as well. It's the exact same thing happened in my on my other Charizard it's at the bottom there. So I can't even grade both of them. So I might just actually sell this to recuperate to recuperate a bit. But wow, I pulled another, another, one. One. another, another one. one. Another one. Another one. Another Charizard EX special illustration rare. Wow. wow. don't normally sleeve up my doubles but that's a charizard so i'm going to sleeve it up anyway i might just try it i feel like it'll be a nine the other the charizard that i pulled the other one i feel like that'll be a nine for sure or even possibly a psa 10 but that one i feel like that's gonna go in my binder and then the other one i might just grade it just for the sake of grading it grading it two packs left on the right on the left side oh my days oh my days can't believe i pulled it again i can't believe i pulled it again wow Armor Rouge, Malamar, let's go over there. Right, last pack, guys, from the left side. I've got the whole setup as well, the whole Charizard Charmander setup, the t shirt. Uh, there. And then Charizard's on the back. Um, I might as well just spin it around a bit. You might be able to see it as I click on here. Chameleon, there's Charizard. I don't know if you can hear me. Hopefully, you can hear me. And then the ugly ass beanie this beanie is so ugly when i saw it on the pokemon and i was like okay yeah it looks all right but got it in person and i was like oh my days i'm not feeling it but just because this is this is a charizard set charmander elite trainer box i'll go with the film i'll go with the theme i don't mind it play though all right guys so far two four six six hits from the left side of the booster box as me as we move on to the right side if you're currently enjoying the video and you haven't already i'd appreciate it if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more when we reach 500 subscribers i'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent elite trainer box as of me hitting 500 subscribers but without further ado let's get it all right guys so moving on to the right side of the box now i'm gonna take after this pack i'm gonna take I'm gonna put the packs out and remove the booster box um boy boy I know it's easy to pull. I think I'm sure it's easy to pull. I've seen it pulled out of the wazoo now, more or less. But I might have sitting in flames luck to be able to pull the top card at least. The thing is, the gold card and every other card is the gold card is like less than fifty. I think the highest card is in English. This Charizard is worth like about ninety pound. The gold one being the second most expensive is about thirty five forty, and then the rest of the cards are like just. 30 and below most of them i can't believe the actual charizard ex and the terraform one are more or less equal in price maybe a little bit higher the terraform one but i can't believe that but yeah i've gone and pulled two of the top cards that you can pull from the city flames so far this year my luck has been absolutely amazing crown zenith i pulled five of those Giratina star gold cards five of them they're worth 100 quid um scarlet and violet i pulled the miriam out of a single checkling blister oh yes nice pidgeotto i need pidgey and i need pidgeot special illustration rare but there's a start pidgeotto yes i love this artwork and the line so you catch a pidgey in route one of obviously and then you catch pidgeotto in route four don't remember what Pidgeotto was, but nice. And a Reverie EX, which I already got as well. Yeah, literally my luck. Um, Scarlet and Violet, the single chicken blister, called the Miriam from a single chicken blister. And I think my Scarlet and Violet Lock wasn't even that bad as well altogether. All the one, all the products that I opened. But they have all haven't finished opening yet, but it hasn't been that bad. 
damn it, sorry Charm, I don't just flip you off. Um I still have quite a bit to open for Power Day Evolved, which I'm gonna do after Obsidian Flames. But yeah, um my luck this year. Even though they've made the poorest much better, but my luck in terms of pulling the top the top cards has been amazing. Amazing. I need to see in Power Day Evolved. I feel like I'm not gonna pull the Iona. Iona. I have a big feeling I'm not gonna pull the Iona. So that Powder Evolved might be the only set I don't pull the top card. Poppy Sizzle. High five. High five. We shall see, we shall see, but I'm not hopeful in terms of Powder Evolved that I'll be pulling the Iona. I feel like that one's harder to pull than it is in um, Scarlet and Violet and compared to Obsidian Flames. Obsidian Flames, I'm not even... I would be much happier if I knew that it was hard to pull like that Charizard. But I know it's not that hard to pull, so it's not as exciting. Come on, these are so slippery. Dark I might even just sell that Charizard. And then pay for the gold one. I think that Charizard alone can pay for the gold one and the thingy anyway. And I'll have extra. So I might just do that. I may just do that and just... I'd have to do it after everything that was open though, which would have to wait until... Oh, it'd be better to sell it now because if I wait, it'll go down. But in terms of obsidian flames, I have to wait till the 25th of which 25th of August, which is two weeks away from this set releasing for the um, building battle stadiums because I need to open those. And then there's still the half booster box, but, and then I'm going to do a binder update with the opening of the half booster box. But the binder doesn't release till probably the end of September. So I'm gonna have to wait till the end of September to stop opening. Then I can judge whether or not to buy that the two Charizards that I need left. Because I've pulled the EX one already as well. I just need the gold one and the terraform. So unless I pull those like now, then I'll know that I don't need to pull them and I can just probably sell that Charizard and buy something else. But in terms of singles, I can't go singles until the binder comes out, which is end of September probably. Because I don't want to set up a binder or buy any singles yet if I know I'm not gonna if I know I'm still gonna open. Because knowing my luck, I'll end up buying the singles. The moment I open up whatever product I'm gonna open, I'll pull it again. And I'll be like, what was the point? So yeah. So I can't buy singles until September anyway, guys, so and I think I'm going to master set this set before 151 comes out. Actually, wait, am I? Because depending on that binder as well, when it comes out, it might come out after 151. 151 is releasing September 22nd in the UK. Mm, what I can remember. I mean, these cards are so slippery this time around. Ink alone, thunderous grind and a dry run. Eight packs left, guys. Eight packs left. I don't think I'm going to pull a gold in this booster box. I don't think I am. I have a feeling I'm not gonna pull a gold in this booster box. So possibly another SIR. Possibly, possibly, hopefully. Um maybe one I mean I'll keep doing that now. Maybe one more IR. Maybe one more full up. And I'd say two more EXs. Liquid one of the EX. Nope. Yeah, so I would say two more EXs. Maybe one more full up. And one more mate. And maybe one more IR. But there's only two, five, seven, eight hits. We need five more. If we're gonna go average anyway. So I might even get unlucky and pull less than average, but no matter what that charge I miss this booster box a win. Easily. Yahoo! Okay, there's our EX, Plumara EX. So far I've pulled I've either pulled every EX already as it is. Or I'm only pulling doubles. <laughs> I've probably already pulled every EX you can pull. The only EX I think I'm missing if there is one. Is yeah, I'm missing the Vespiquen. Vespiquen, Vespiquen. EX, the Terraform. I believe that's the only one I'm missing. As far as I can remember. Nose Pass, Ordino, Togekiss. Alright, so that makes it up. How many pulls is that? Nine? Was that eight? I think that's eight. 
nine pulls. Nine pulls, three more, maybe. I would say one more pull up. I would say one more pull up. There's our gold. I wish, I just wish that was Charizard. Oh, I would love to have been able to say I pulled the gold Charizard and the special illustration rare one together. I wish. Damn it. But I guess I pulled the fire one and Charizard fire. Well, that, that's a darkness because it's terror type. But. Oh. Okay, so there's a gold card. There's a gold card. There's our missed chance. One in three chance of Charizard. But I'll take it. Let's go villain. Now that I think about it as well, it's fitting that the gold fire energy is in this set as much as Charizard is darkness, but because it's Charizard, obviously it's still fire. So the fire energy being in the fire set, Obsidian Flames, the name being the Obsidian Flames as well. Damn it, why are these cards so slippery? Gloom, Sharpedo, the Noon, the Manitan, the Push, yes. Another illustration read, I don't have a room. This Pokemon though, I feel... Ugh. It's like... Why? Throughout Scarlet and Violet, I feel like some of the new Pokemon that they did, it's just like, why? This is like a... Varum, I guess it's like a car. I mean, it evolves into a car. But it looks like a vacuum cleaner. Anyway. No double banger. Three packs left, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe one more hit, but I'm not expecting anything. I don't. I might just get an 11 hitter. I think I'm gonna get an 11 hitter. Maybe one more EX. Maybe. I have a one more EX or one more full up. One of the two. But I might just get an 11 hitter. Booster box. Reward. Yahoo! Freedom EX Terraform, which I don't have. Which I don't have. Okay, so I'll take that. I'll take that. Two packs remaining. I think that's it, guys. I think the last two packs are gonna have nothing. At least, at least I'm expecting nothing. To be honest, I'm expecting nothing. But this booster box so far, love it. I love it. I love it. Star tricks. These are so slippery. Or is it just my hands? Third year into it. Last pack being the Dragonite Terraform. Oh, let's see. Dragonite gonna come through with the last pack magic. Let's try to keep this tight so I don't spoil anything, although I can't spoil anything anyway. It always duds me. Shuckle, this shot. Magneton, Time Pool, Angerstone, this Clash, Float Tool, The Trunk, Heat More, Full Art. Alright, guys, so 12 hits, average booster box. But, oh my. This was a booster box. Ish. Just because of one card, obviously. The Charizard, I pulled the Charizard again again had a chance of pulling the double bang of charizards the gold charizard and the especially has it happened when i think about it now i don't think anyone has pulled the sir and the gold card together in one booster box or in one opening to be honest has anyone done it has rev done it because I know Rev has opened up quite a bit and he's pulled a lot of the gold ones. But I don't think he's pulled both in one video or one card. Or in one like booster box. I don't know if it's happened. I could have been the first if that's the case. But yeah. That was the Obsidian Flames booster box guys. 12 hits. Special illustration rare charges are pulled again. If you enjoyed the video. If you stuck with me to the end. I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like. Subscribe. Turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for our, the most recent Elite Trainer Box as of me hitting 500 subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.